Before we get into this list, I wanted to start with one universal truth that unites all humans. Everyone poops. Before we get to the toilet paper, we have to talk about what came before it. Which one of these do you think was used before the advent of toilet paper? You guessed it, all of them. These are flat rocks or shards of pottery known as pisoi that the ancient Greeks supposedly used. And I have no clue if I'm saying that correctly. The Romans sat around in a communal toilet like this and supposedly used a communal sponge sat in a bucket of disinfectant made of a mixture of salt, vinegar, and water. Historians think that the Japanese used these skinny sticks called chugi starting around the 8th century. Other popular wiping materials back then and even still to this day are leaves, grass, wool, coconut husks, hemp, sticks, pine cones, snow, water, seashells, your bare hands, and potentially the most American of all on the list, corn cobs. Wait, was that what Beavis and Butthead were talking about? Now to actual toilet paper. The beginnings of TP most likely started in China around the 6th century, with the paper being made from rice straw because it was cheaper. It was not an overnight success and the toilet paper movement did not catch on globally for many years. For example, travelers from the Islamic world actually looked down upon the practice as unsanitary and preferred to use water instead. Centuries later, the big shift toward TP started when an American named Joseph Gaetti started selling boxes of tissues coated with aloe in the 1850s. They were semi-popular, but were still seen as a luxury and most people still use whatever they could find lying around, say like this new Sears catalog before it was all glossy, or the farmer's almanac hanging from the string in its pre-drilled hole in the outhouse. Side note, isn't that crazy about the almanac? They knew people were reading it in the outhouse so much that they pre-drilled a hole to make it easier to hang. Man, I love history. As indoor plumbing became more widespread at the turn of the 20th century, people realized you couldn't just flush anything down the toilet. Businesses like the Scott Paper Company realized this and started producing and marketing TP for the masses. By the 1930s, the product was so refined that the advertisers could finally claim their product was, wait for it, splinter free. So what did non-splinter free feel like? In modern times, there was a somewhat recent push toward flushable wet wipes in some countries. But then people found out there's pretty much no such thing as a flushable wipe. As you can see, despite the arguments made by George and Seinfeld, toilet paper has changed quite a bit over the years. But the fact remains that what you use to wipe your butt has and will always be dependent on your geographic location, social and cultural norms, and economic status. I usually end with a question, so I've got two for you this time. What is the strangest thing you've ever used instead of toilet paper? In a perfect world, what would you use to wipe every day?